Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is going to be an update on my project Use It Up. So this is a body care project pan in which I try to use up a lot of my body care products. Right now we are in the springtime, so of course this is my spring project Use It Up. And this will be the first update. If you want to see the intro video, I'll try to link it up above so you can go and watch um, the very first introduction of the spring project. But I'm going to show you guys some progress and actually replace a few things because I used up some stuff and also because I kind of got sick of some of the scents so let's go ahead and get into it okay so starting off with the fun stuff this is everything that i finished up since the last update so we will start off with soaps i finished off the purely clean kitchen mandarin hand soap and this is the foaming one we had this i think actually at our kitchen sink um the hand notes are sparkling mandarin hand notes <laughs> the scent notes are sparkling mandarin fresh thyme and cedarwood this smelled really, really good. I think this is like a perfect um, kitchen scent and also like a perfect spring scent. It was just like nice and sweet. It smelled exactly like cuties, little cutie oranges. So that one was really good. And then we also finished off I'll Be There Coconut Lime Verbena. Super cute packaging. I think I got this at SAS. Um, the scent notes are Zesty Lime, Lemon Verbena, and Coconut Water. I could see picking up another one of these um, at Summer SAS because this would be a really good scent for like August or July when it's like super hot, like 100 degrees. This would be such a good scent, but I really liked it. And I think this, well, I know this used to be um, a staple scent at Bath & Body Works like way back in the day. Um, and I think they still have it as an online exclusive retired scent i want to say so if you guys are a fan of this one i think they have it online um but yeah it was i think it was really good um the next thing that i finished up i'm gonna hold it from afar because it looks kind of gross is the lake and sky 1111 perfume oil mini um basically i had to like i used to like put it on my wrist and the back of my neck and so it has like skin particles in it so we're just not gonna look at it but i finished it i did not like this i don't think i like perfume oils that just like feel greasy and they make me feel weird and i don't i don't like it um the scent was like okay it was kind of a unisex scent um it was fine not my favorite so anyways the next thing that i finished is the mary cookie hand cream now y'all know to be cutting open your products okay because i think i got like two or three more days out of this so definitely cut open your products i love their hand creams the bath and body works hand cream formula is the best and mary cookie is just a good scent i think it's just like a generic sweet scent i liked it um the last thing that is an empty that i finished up that i'm super proud of is y'all gonna cry with me okay frosted wonderland the fine fragrance mist this is from 2014 so and by the way if you guys don't know you can read the like code at the bottom of your bottles so this one's code let's see if i can show it to you can you see it okay it starts with a four this code down here not the barcode that they scan but the stamped code on the bottom and it starts with a four so 2014 of course now everything started over so if it had a zero at the beginning then 2020 now they'll, they'll have one at the beginning so that means 2021 but yeah this is a four for 2014 so seven years old but this scent is so good oh my gosh it's so good if i remember the scent notes or if i remember to do this i'll add the scent notes down here on the, on the bottom but i want to say it's like jasmine coconut few other things it's just the best scent ever and it's very nostalgic for me i hope they come up with something similar i want to say um the coconut mint drop actually from this past winter was pretty similar to this so at least i have that to kind of like hold me over but this is just an amazing scent i'm so sad to see it go but i really needed to use it up before it went bad so i could actually enjoy the scent and that's why i do these projects is to kind of get through my collection so that way Number one, I can go crazy at SAS because I love doing like huge hauls at SAS. It's so much fun. But also number two is that I'm actually using my products and they're not going bad because I have had products go up bad on me before. And that's kind of why I started these projects because I don't want things that I pay for that I use my hard-earned money to pay for to go bad. So 
anyways that's everything for all the stuff that i used up now let's get into some stuff that i have some updates on so the first thing is the pink velvet cupcake body cream this is the only body cream that i have in the project right now um last time we updated this or actually when i introduced this into the project it was at 7.3 ounces and now we're at five ounces um pink velvet cupcake is so good it's like literally just sparkling berries. I think that's one of the, yeah, sparkling red berries is one of the notes. Whipped pink marshmallow and sugar praline. Honestly, it's so good. Just makes me feel like girly and happy when I put it on. It's awesome. So that's the update for this. Um, keeping on the theme of Pink Velvet Cupcake, I do have the Fine Fragrance Mist also in the project. I introduced it last month. And um, actually I have a few lines on here. Maybe I didn't introduce it last month. Maybe it's been in for a while, but don't judge me. I like cut open the thing. I tried to be cool and be like self-care Catherine and like cut down the side, but I'm not. Well, her roommate did that for her, so I don't know if she could help me out here, tell me how to do it, but I just took some scissors and tried to cut the packaging off so I can see inside to see what, like how much progress I'm making. Um, so actually, let's see. Where are we at? Right here. Okay. So since the last update, we were right here and now we're down to here. Um, so since I've been using up, since I used up the Frosted Wonderland Mist, I've had this one at work with me. So I've been using it a lot more recently than I have in the past. So definitely getting more use out of it. It just smells so good. I love this. It smells so, it smells so good. I hope they come out with this every year for fall because this is such a good scent and I'll be sad to see it go. On the same, lines of fine fragrance mist i have velvet sugar in here and this was in for a couple of months and actually i don't think even think i have any progress on it i did not use it at all i used it in the month of february and that's it i didn't use it at all so i'm actually going to replace this i found like i don't know this feels like a date night scent to me I, I don't think I could just like put it on whenever and just be happy. I think this is really just like a going out scent and I'm not going out anywhere currently. So I'm going to replace this with one that is a tried and true favorite, Vanilla Bean Noel. And I've already been using this. Um, so I need to go ahead and mark where it's at because I've already been using this for like the past couple of weeks. Um, now this one you can actually kind of see through the packaging because there's like the sun coming through my window. So I can kind of see where it's at. Um, we are right here, just under the packaging line. Um, Vanilla Bean Noel is honestly my favorite scent. Well, one of my favorite scents, but definitely my favorite Christmas scent. And um, the scent notes are fresh vanilla bean, sugar cookies, warm caramel, whipped cream, and snow-kissed musk. It's just so nostalgic for me. It's so good. You can definitely smell like the, I think the caramel, they like got rid of it and then they brought it back and then they got rid of it and they brought it back. I don't know. In Vanilla Bean Noel, like each year it changes if they have it in there or not, but you can definitely smell the caramel in it this year, but it smells so good. I've been using it at nighttime, really, like after I shower, I'll put this on with my lotion at night and it's so yummy. So I would much rather have something in that I like enjoy, thoroughly enjoy and want to use even at nighttime versus something that I'll only use occasionally. And then to replace Frosted Wonderland, I am putting in Almond Blossom. This is a tried and true favorite, actually. Um, I need to go ahead and mark where I'm starting it at. I had this in my project, use it up, I want to say when I started them, which was like last March, March 2020, um, I had Almond Blossom in it. So it does have a few progress lines from when I used it then, but um, from then to now, I've only used it like that much. So not used it a lot. I want to get a lot of use on this. Not a lot, but I want to get use on this. Um, it is such a good scent. This is another one like that I would put on if I was going out places, but also just like to, to feel good. I don't know. Um, to feel like I'm put together or something. <sighs> it smells so beautiful and like sophisticated. There's no scent notes on this packaging, so I'll try to like put them down here, but this is from 2018. They do still bring this out. I think every SAS they bring this out and I want to say it's online exclusive as well. So you can probably still get it online. But yeah, those are the fine fragrance mists. So moving on, we're gonna talk about the um, soaps that I've been using lately. So Raspberry Tangerine is currently at our kitchen sink. I introduced this last time, it had not been used. Um, I don't know if I can see through the packaging right here, but um, I wanna say it's like maybe right here, we just started using it. Um, so it doesn't have too much use on it, 
but we just started using it so that's probably why we also just started using fresh lemonade um downstairs in the bathroom so i'm gonna go ahead and mark where it's at we've already used a, like a lot of it after putting it in for maybe like a week um this is lemon juice lime twist and sugar crystals we're starting off like right here this is from i think last sas is when i got this in the summer of 2020 and it smells so good it literally just smells like lemonade it smells so nice and my mom loves the lemony scents so she's been really enjoying this one too um another soap that we've been using is the hip hop hooray sprinkled donut i just recently got this i want to say in february and um we started it out in the project last month all the way at the very top and now we're down to here it's pretty much almost done we'll probably do maybe like another week and a half and then it'll be finished um but yeah i'm really enjoying it it definitely smells like donuts it doesn't linger on your hands but it smells really good when you're washing your hands and then when that one's finished i'm going to put in my favorite if you've been here for a while you know this is my favorite scent for hand soap toasted vanilla chai and it's the gentle gel which i got this at winter sas um the scent notes are whipped vanilla sponge sugar and winter spice i also have it in two different um foam packagings but that's like fall themed this one is just like the white barn packaging so i think it's totally fine to put it in now it is just the best scent ever somebody called it like a bougie vanilla bean noel which that's literally what it is anything chai and i am totally down um this hand soap is actually the reason well not this specific one but i think one last year is the reason why i started drinking chai tea and i love chai tea mostly in the fall and winter but so so good i'm like so excited to use this so yeah that will be going in once i finish up sprinkled donut and then some updates on lotions so i have happy easter in right now as my hand cream um at work this is the sweet bunny berry no. yeah sweet bunny berry it smells like jelly beans to me it smells like jelly beans it's like halfway used and then when that one's finished i'm gonna put in warm vanilla sugar um warm vanilla sugar is also one of my favorite scents from bath body works i love vanilla scents um it's so good and so this one will go in the in my work bag once i finish up happy easter so these two are in right now as far as perfume um i am going to keep in the ariana grande i believe this is the cloud pink can uh sweet like candy that's what it is it's just in a red packaging because this came in a christmas set like literally in 2016 or 2015 so it's pretty old um but i haven't used it at all because i was trying to use up the lake and sky 1111 perfume so I'll be using this now. It's gonna go in my work bag and I'll be using this pretty much every day. So I'm hoping to finish this up. I have like three more rollerballs of different scents from Ariana Grande. So I need to get through those because they're kind of old. And then the last couple of things that I have are some shower gels. I put in a couple new ones last month. I put in Pretty as a Peach in the mini. This is from 2018, so it's not that old. Um, and Pretty as a Peach is just such a good spring scent. I've been really enjoying it, using it, just like getting refreshed, especially after like I do a run in my neighborhood or something. And so this is the progress that I've had on it in a month. I haven't really used it that much, um, but I definitely have used it and I'm pretty much almost done with it, done with it. So it's gonna be gone soon. And then we have Santa's Blueberry Shortbread. This is from 2019 Christmas. I actually found it at this past winter SAS crazy i know it was a great find um the scent notes are baked blueberry crumbled shortcake and whipped cream i'm gonna go ahead and mark where it's at the only bad thing about this one is it smells like super artificial blueberry and so for that reason i kind of don't love it that much but i could imagine like in a low in the lotion it probably didn't smell like that but yeah there's just such an artificial scent to this that it kind of turns me off but it still smells really good even with the artificial scent um, but here is the progress that I've made in the past month on that one. So we're pretty much almost done with this one too. And then the last shower gel that I have for an update is the whipped, no, sorry, vanilla mocha cafe shower gel, which I just put in my project last month. And I really don't have that much progress on it. I've only used it a few times, 
mostly on weekends when I want to smell like coffee. And um, the scent notes are Cozy Cappuccino, Vanilla Orchid, and White Tonka Bean. So I only have like a tiny bit of progress from here to here since last month. And I did have this in my fall project, so that's why there's a little bit of progress lines on there already. But I didn't really use it much in the last month, but it smells so good. It literally just smells like mocha <laughs> chocolate coffee, so it smells absolutely amazing. Really good. So those are the shower gels I have in the project right now. And then for the two um, body lotions that I have in the project, I have Twinkling Nights. And this is Frosted Jasmine Petals with Vanilla and Mandarin Blossom. I actually did get quite a bit of progress. I'm about midway through this lotion. And when I put in the project last month, it was unused. So that's about a month to get through half of this. So two months to get through the whole thing, pretty good. And then I also have the Vanilla Mocha Cafe lotion in here as well. I got a lot more use out of the lotion than I did the shower gel because I actually find that I like this one at night, especially if I put it on at night and then I put Vanilla Bean Noel on top of it. It's so good. It's like chocolate vanilla coffee. It's so good. It smells awesome. Um, yeah, the lotion is very calming. It's, it's really good. And then here's the progress that I have in the last month. So not bad. Um, so there's a lot of stuff that's like really close to being finished in the project, which I'm very excited about because I have a few things coming in the mail soon. So that will be fun. And then I have some like stuff that I want to get. I want to get to spring and summer stuff. Like I'm really excited to start doing spring and summer stuff. So once most of the like other seasonal things like the shower gels are done, I'm going to go full summer mode. So yeah, very excited about that. As far as um, like Vanilla Bean Noel, I really don't care. I'm going to use this all year long. So I don't care that it's specifically for winter or whatever. <laughs> but anyways, let me know down below some things that you have finished up in the past month or some things that you're working on finishing up. I'd love to hear it. And subscribe down below if you enjoyed this video. Give me a like. It really helps out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.